The turning dynamic roughing tool path is designed for hard materials and gives a smooth, gradual engagement into the material, effectively reducing the wear on the insert using more of its edge to prevent notching and localized wear. Now this toolpath will only work with round button style inserts. So we'll start by going toolpaths, dynamic rough, and partial chain mode. Start down there and end up there. Okay. Now I have a button style tool already selected. If you try and pick something else, Mastercam will give you a warning. Now under the rough parameters, this step over. This is related to the radius of the tool. So my tool has a 1875 radius, therefore half of that is the 94 thousandths value. The toolpath radius, this is the arcing lead in lead out motion. I'm going to have stock to leave 10 and X and 10 and Z. Now cutting method. Usually with turning, use a one-way turning method, turning towards the chuck. This toolpath, though, is optimized with this cutter to use zigzag motion, very effectively cutting both in positive and negative Z. Moving along here, the stock recognition, very important. I want to use stock for outer boundary. Filter. This will help reduce the size of the toolpath and give me more arc motion. Since I'm leaving 10 thousandths, Let's say a 5 thousandths tolerance, and I'm going to create arcs, minimum of 5 thou, maximum arc radius, 1,000 inches. Now the plunge parameters, you're going to notice by default it's set here to allow plunging in X and Z. All of the other Mastercam toolpaths are defaulted to this one, to not allow plunging in X or Z. Since this toolpath is optimized for this type of motion, my clearance angles are also set to zero degrees, once again utilizing the button style insert. And I'm going to call that good. Now first for a back plot, you can see all my orange marks here are arc motion. So I'm getting nice lead into the material. We'll go over to a verify, slow down the speed a little bit. And we can see here a nice entry motion.